Chelsea 01 Manchester City A game which DIDNT quite live up to its billing not helped, of course, by Alvaro Morata limping off in the first half with a hamstring injury. After a goalless opening period, Manchester City's control greatly increased and Pep Guardiola's playmakers began to make deep incisions into a shuffled Chelsea's defence. When Kevin De Bruyne eventually gave the visitors the lead, after a well-timed pass from Gabriel Jesus and scything move, it was a goal they thoroughly deserved. And, ultimately, it was an advantage they protected well. Chelsea mounted a vague response, but all the best chances in the remainder of the game fell to City. Goals De Bruyne 67 Huddersfield 04 Tottenham A real lesson. Huddersfield have begun Premier League life well, but this was not David Wagner's best day. Huddersfield played into Tottenham's hands, got caught too high up the field three times inside the first half here and conceded as many goals in the first half as they had in their previous six games. Spurs spent most of the second half well within their comfort zone, but two goals from Harry Kane who is now just 14 goals short of Teddy Sheringham's Premier League record for the club and Ben Davies capped a performance in which they played some of their brightest football of the season. Musa Sissoko added a fourth from close range in second half stoppage time. Goals Kane 10, 23 Davies 16, Sissoko 90 Bournemouth 00 Leicester Bournemouth certainly started like a side determined pull out of the relegation zone before the international break. Jermaine Defoe had the clearest opportunity, but slammed his shot against the crossbar. Eddie Howe's team were the better of the two and certainly posed the tougher questions but, oddly for two teams who don't exactly specialise in clean sheets, this proved a stalemate. Goals Tumbleweed Manchester United 4-0 Crystal Palace exactly the start here that Palace didnt want. Only three minutes had passed when Marcus Rashford knotted up Joel Ward before setting up Juan Mata to open the scoring. Ten minutes before the break, an impressive Manchester United performance was further rewarded by their second, Fellaini scoring after good work from Ashley Young. Fellaini would double his tally just after half-time and Romelu Lukaku scored a late fourth for his seventh goal in as many games. Goals Marta 3, Fellaini 35-48, Lukaku 86 Stoke 2-1 Southampton Stoke have quietly begun to go off the boil, having not won a Premier League game since beating Arsenal in August and having not led in any game at all since their 40 win over Rochdale in the League Cup. Maimdouf gave them the lead here, heading in Jerdan Shakiri's corner on 40 minutes. IWASNT or good news in the first half though, as there was still time for Saido Berahino to miss a penalty. His wait for a first Stoke goal continues. Fifteen minutes before time, Maya Yoshida acrobatically converted Shane Long's flick to score only Southampton's second goal away from home this season. Peter Crouch would have the last word, though, scoring late against his old side to win Mark Hughes 3 overdue points, goals due 40, Crouch 85, Yoshida 75, West Brom 2-2 Watford despite losing, Tony Pullis would have been greatly encouraged by the improvement he saw in his side last Monday at Arsenal and West Brom initially built on that here, scoring twice in three first half minutes through Salomon Rondon and Johnny Evans. A first goal of the season for each and the first time since May 2017 that Police team had scored more than one in a game. Abdullahi Dukur pulled one back before the interval and then late, late into second half injury time, Richarlison headed in Jose Holbe's free kick to steal a point. Goals Rondon 18, Evans 21, Dukur 37, Richarlison 90, West Ham 1 0, Swansea not a first half that gave anybody great reason for cheer, these really are two sides struggling for confidence. Did DIDNT really improve in the second period, either, and this game if anyone chooses to remember it at all become more notable for Slaven Bilic's curious substitutions Javier Hernandez withdrawal, in particular, proved unpopular with the home fans. Still, West Ham mounted a late siege and, after Andy Carroll had hit the bar minutes earlier, Diafra Sacco remember him finished well to snatch the points. A relief for the home fans, less so the ones who quite understandably decided to leave early, goals Sacco 90.